of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 12th day of March, being Tuesday, and we fall of Lent. I read this will be coming from Prophet Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 1 to 9, and verse 12. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 46, verse 8. A gospel message will come from John Gospel chapter 5, verse 1 to 16. The theme of our message today, Jesus, the healing water. Jesus, the healing water. Today, we are told in the gospel message that Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And there is a, in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool in Hebrew called Bezata, which has five porticons. In this life, a multitude of invalid people, the blind, the lame, and everything. And when the water is troubled, they jump into it and get healed. And there was a man there who had been sick for 38 years, waiting for the pool. And Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? He says, sir, whenever I want to enter, people will jump into the water before me. I have no person to help me. And Jesus said, okay, take up your pallet and walk. The man took up his pallet and walked. And that's how he healed him. He began healed instantly. And he took his pallet and was going home. It was Sabbath day, and they saw him. My friend, what you are doing, the Pharisees saw him and said, what are you doing? Today is Sabbath day. How can you carry your pallet on Sabbath day? It's unlawful. A man told them, the man who hid me asked me to take my pallet and walk home. They asked him, who is the person? He doesn't know. Because Jesus had disappeared in the crowd. Then eventually, he met Jesus. He just told him, look, you are now well. Make sure you don't sin again so that something worse will not happen to you. And he recognized it, Jesus. He quickly went and told the Jews it was Jesus. And for this, the Jews wanted to kill him, persecute him, because he hid on Sabbath day. You see it. The healing word. He healed on Sabbath day. And now why today you can see Prophet Ezekiel prophesying about the water flowing from the sanctuary. And this water flowing from the sanctuary is Christ himself or the word of God itself. This water flowing from the sanctuary moving eastward. He said the man measured the water and asked me to pass. It was uncle me. He measured again, it was in my law. He measured again, 100 cubit. Now it's a river to be sure you can pass through. Telling you the level of your acceptance of the word of God, the healing God, is the extent. If the word is still at your ankle, you might pass it. You might still offend it. If it's on your law, you can walk across it, against it. But when it's a full swim, you can only swim in it. You can only be in it or not in it. And they say this water flowing from the sanctuary flows to Arabah. And if it enters a stand water of the sea, the water becomes fresh. Yes, the healing water. And if you go through, he said, when you see the banks of this water, both sides of it have different kinds of trees for food. And their leaves are never dry. Their leaves are never dry. Their fruits never fail. They eat fruit every month. And the food, the fruits are good for food. And they are least for healing. Telling you this water flowing from the sanctuary. And that's Christ, the healing water. Flowing from the sanctuary. They say the way he passes, life starts swimming. Plenty of fish. Everything starts living. Trees start growing. Life starts flowing there. When he is in you, life flows. When he's in you, your leaves will never dry. When he is in you, you will eat the required food at the proper time. Confess Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Yes, when he is in you, when this water flows into you, the stagnant water becomes fresh. 
and allow life to live in it. You become useful to others and glorify God. Yes, that's Jesus, the healing water flowing for the sanctuary. The healing water that is called the sheep gate, the porticos of Solomon. That's Jesus. That's why he said, I want to be healed, take up your pallet and walk. And he walked. And that's why the psalmist who understood this so well did say, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The, jo- the Lord he said, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Yes, he's with us. The healing God, the healing water. May we understand this message today that the Christ is the healing water. And he heals us and brings life in us when we are dead. May we understand this message today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of the healing Christ be upon all of us today. As it was in the mind of the paralytic, and of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.